This is the largest pond in Summerfield. There's a female mallard duck. I don't see the male anywhere. There's the female mallard duck. I'm gonna take off now. I'm on an early Sunday morning walk at Iroquois Park. I'm walking on Top Hill Road now. I don't like walking on the road, but I don't have a lot of time today. My oldest granddaughter's graduating from high school. I'm walking on Top Hill Road. I'm gonna hike two of the new trails back to my car. These trails are still in pretty good shape. I see the old trail down there. That trail's not in very good shape. There's a lot of erosion. Walking on this trail and I see a deer. I think it's a doe. That deer took off running in that mess and I'm definitely not going to try to follow her. If I had a little more time, maybe I would hike down there. There's probably a lot of deer down in that area. I've hiked it before and I've found a lot of deer. I just saw another deer run off in front of me, but I wasn't fast enough with my camera. I'm leaving this trail. This is the exit that will take you down to the amphitheater. I'm going to hike off in this direction. This will lead me back to my car. There is a trail at Waverly Park called the Twisting Bends Trail. And that's what this trail reminds me of. I think that deer ran off over there somewhere. But I don't see it. This trail definitely doesn't go straight. Yeah, I'll just call this the Twisting Bends Trail from now on. I don't see a lot of deer on this trail. If I wanted to see more deer, I'd get off the trail and hike down in that area. But I'm in a hurry today.
little muddy here. I'm getting close to the end. I can see Rondo Road down there. Finishing up, I'm close to the bottom of Uphill Road. I'm gonna take the Corbley Trail back to my car. I'm leaving Uphill Road. I'm on the Corbley Trail. That's the North Overlook up there. I'm passing the steps that lead up to the North Overlook. This is where I leave the Corbley Trail and start heading to my car. I could have stayed on the road and gotten to my car faster. But I love hiking through this area. And I don't like walking on the road. You never know what you'll find in this area. Pretty dark right now. It's clouding up. I think they're calling for rain later today. I was hoping I might find some deer in this area, but I don't see any. There's probably deer back there, but I don't have time to go looking for them. And there's probably deer over there somewhere. I well, made it down the Rundell Road. And I'm parked at the golf course parking lot over there. It's time for this old man to go home. I'm starting an early Sunday morning hike at Iroquois Park. Hopefully I can get my hike in before it starts raining. I just started my hike and I see my first deer of the morning. Looks like a doe. I think that deer ran away. I can't find her. I think it was a doe. I think I found her again. It's definitely a doe. I think she's all alone. Hello, pretty girl. is a beautiful doe. I'm hiking past her now. I 
think she's ignoring me now. She's watching me hike off. It is very humid out this morning. And the gnats keep flying around my head. I sprayed myself good with insect repellent before I left home. I don't like hiking when it's humid like this and there's no breeze at all. But I enjoy listening to the birds sing. Here's some dark fresh mushrooms. I'm gonna hike down this hill now. I found some bucks bedded down in that area the last time I was here. But they probably won't be here this morning. They like to roam around a lot. You hear so many different kinds of birds in this park. I'm not sure what that bird is. It's high up in the tree. I assume it's a bird, but I'm not sure. This is where the bucks were bedded down the last time I was here. And as you can see, they're not here now. I'm leaving this area. I'm going to cross the gully and hike over there. Now I'm going to try to find deer in this mess. What I like about hiking in this area is even if I don't find any deer, I'm still getting a great workout. Well, I see a deer on the other side of the gully. I'm not going over there. I'm looking to see if I see any more deer over there and I don't. Just that one. I'm going to hike off in this direction. There probably are other deer over there, but that's just not the area I want to hike. There's a bunch of deer up there. I'm going to try to catch up to them. They're running all over the place over there. I found some of them. That's a young buck there. There goes the young buck.
this one's keeping an eye on me. And that little buck is up there somewhere. Good morning. And good morning to you. I'm very close to them now. I think this one is chewing its cud. And I think this one is chewing its cud. Now where'd that little buck go? He probably didn't go far. Well, I think I have enough pictures and video of these two. Try to find that little buck and get a few more pictures of him. I like it when they don't run away from me. You're just watching me, aren't you? I'm gonna hike off in this direction. Now these two ran in front of me. Now they're going off in that direction. I'm gonna hike up this hill now and those deer are in front of me again. They're going in the same direction I am. But they're pretty far ahead of me now. There's one of them way up there. I'm getting closer to them now. Where'd the others go? Looking down at me, they're saying, What are you doing up here, old man? We came up here to get away from you. There's all three of them. I'm pretty close to them now. Now I'm very close to them again. Except for that one. It's walking up the hill. This is the young buck. I'm not really trying to follow them. They're just going in the same direction I am. I think they're up there somewhere now. Well, they're on their way up that hill now. And that's not where I'm going. I'm gonna hike off in this direction. One last look. Well, they're not all up there. This one's right next to me. Are you lagging behind? 
But now she's on her way up the hill. But she's not in a hurry. Well, that was fun while it lasted. I'm looking down the hill. I see another deer. I think this is one of the three. I only saw two go up that hill. I think this is the young buck. Yeah, I see his antlers. These are new deer here. I think that's a pregnant doe down there. This is a young buck down here. And I think that's a young doe over there. There goes the young buck. Well, I spent enough time in this area. There's the young doe over there. And there's the young buck. And I'm going to keep on hiking in this direction. I'm not sure how many deer were back in that area. Looking behind me in that little buck. And that... I think that's a young doe. Or still back there. There's the young buck and the doe. And there goes the young buck. They traded places. Well, I left those deer back there on the higher ground. Now I'm going to hike down this hill. Well, I'm not finding anything down here. I think I'll cross the gully and hike up that hill over there. I hear a woodpecker drumming over there. But I don't see it. Too many leaves in the way. I'm on my way up to the top of this hill now. A lot of obstacles in the way. I think the thunderstorms are coming, so I'm going to need to finish up this hike. I'm going to hike up to Summit Field now. I'm on the trail that leads up to the top. Up, up I go. I made it up to Rita's Point. I'm very close to the top now. Time for me to take a little break. I finally made it up to the top. Summit Fields over there. I'm passing the mullein weed. I'm on Top Hill Road now. I'm gonna go piddle around in Summit Field for a little bit. A little bird in that tree. This is the largest pond in Summit Field. I don't see any ducks this morning. Beep. 
see an eastern tiger swallowtail butterfly on the milkweed and a lot of bees on it look at all the bumblebees Now where did that butterfly go? There it is. Oh, there's more than one. One there. There's one flying around over there. There's thousands of bumblebees in there. There's another eastern tiger swallowtail butterfly. And another one. There's two there. Now the butterflies are all over the place. Here's another one over here. And another one there. There's two over there. There's one here. There's two together there. There's another one to my right. Where'd that one go? There it is. There's another one over there. There's one flying around over there. Where'd it go? I don't see it now. There's a butterfly and some bees. Bumblebees. There's a butterfly flying around. Butterfly and a couple of bumblebees. Well, I think I have enough pictures and video of butterflies. Eastern tiger swallows all butterflies. I'm going to take off now. Found some butterfly weed. But no butterflies on it. More pale purple cone flowers. One there. There's two there, and there's three back there. Here's some more butterfly weed. Yeah, it's starting to feel like rain. I'm checking out the small pond in the center of Summit Field. There's nothing going on here. I'm still piddling around in Summit Field. Found some more butterfly weed. More butterfly weed. I hear the distant thunder. I think maybe I better start heading to my car. 
going to check out this small pond that's close to Sullivan Grove. I don't see any ducks in it. I'm leaving Summit Field. There's Top Hill Road. I'm going to head to my car now. There's a squirrel looking at me. This is Sullivan Grove. I'm on my way to the North Overlook. Looking back into the woods and I see a deer back there. Now is she back there all alone? I think she is. I don't see any others. I'm very close to the North Overlook. I'm not going to try to follow her. There she is again. The North Overlook is right up there. I'm not going to the North Overlook. I'm going to go down this hill and hit the Corbley Trail. There were two young lovebirds headed to the North Overlook. So I thought I'd give them some privacy. I thought I might see that doe again on my way down. But as you can see, there are plenty of places for a deer to hide in this area. That doe is probably going to be having a baby in this area pretty soon. It's about that time of year. This hill is pretty steep. Here's some more thunder. I'm pretty close to my car. There's the Corbley Trail down there. I'm on the Corbley Trail and it's starting to rain. Getting ready to leave the Corbley Trail. I'm going to cut through this area to get to my car. Look how dark it is now. I love the sound of distant thunder. Love that sound. It is so dark right now. It's raining, but I'm not feeling it yet because of the leaves on the trees. It's a little lighter in this spot. I still hear the distant thunder. I'm very close to my car now. 
You can hear the traffic down on Rundle Road. Thunder is getting a little louder now. I haven't seen any lightning yet. Starting to rain a little harder. I can see Rundle Road down there. The leaves are still keeping me dry. There's Rundle Road. I'm on Rundle Road and I'm parked at the golf course parking lot over there. Time for this old man to go home. There's the golf course clubhouse. And there's my car. I'm on my way home and it is pouring down rain. I'm glad it waited for me to get to my car.